Dino Mike to the Rhino type. Rhino Mike, find your sight. Sell the information for a dime of white. That China, China. I got I'm that behind white. the diner. Selling marijuana to a minor, minor. Elder Felder looking for that shine. I'll shine ya. My mind designer. You a dime, I dime ya. Madonna mama. Body bottle, you're fine. I'm fine. Welcome to another episode of Maximilian Must Know. Today we're going to take a look at a fragrance from the house of Lalique. Uh, this is one of their latest mainstream releases and it's called Ancre Noir Sport. Now, when this one was announced a lot of us in the Facebook fragrance groups thought this one might be a joke um, because the original Ancre Noir which I also reviewed really was the antithesis of a sport release you know it's as black as midnight vetiver fragrance for me an excellent one um, that scored very high on my list of top 100 fragrances of all time that I did on my blog uh, I love it and so when I saw this one I waited a little bit until it popped up on Amazon for a more reasonable price and that did blind by this. Now, if you like some history on the House of La Ligue, actually, I'm sorry, I did blind by it. Decant Shop sent me a sample um, and I liked it and then I picked it up. So it wasn't really a blind buy. But if you're looking for some more history on the House of La Ligue, please do check out the video that I did on Ancre Noir. Uh, this is my third bottle from the house. I also own Ancre Noir and Homage Lum. And uh, on my purchase list, I have La Ligue White, Eau de La Ligue, and then eventually I'd like to look at their higher end uh, composition and noir premier collections. Ancre Noir Sport was a 2013 release uh, by Perfume Natalie Lorson. She's done some great scents, including Bentley Intense for Men. I really like that one. The original Ancre Noir, uh, Mandarina Ducks Pure Black, Paul Smith Man, and some others. Notes on Ancre Noir Sport are grapefruit, bergamot, and nutmeg at the top. Uh, middle is going to be cypress, lavender, and watery notes. And then the base, bourbon, vetiver, Haitian vetiver, cashmere, woods, and musk. Um, if you want to get this one via the retail outlets, you're probably going to pay up to $110. So I'd look for it on places like Amazon, FragranceNet. Um, I got my 100ml bottle here for $40 shipped on Amazon. Now, as far as your presentation goes, Ancre Noir, I mean, I'm sorry, Lalique does this really well. Um, very similar to the Ancre Noir bottle, Ancre Noir Sport. Eau de Toilette. Um, information on the bottom, it is made in France. Lalique, the Lalique insignia, and the name of the fragrance. And inside um, is a place for the fragrance to just sit really um, securely. It's padded quite well. So uh, really sort of a heavy box and a, a nice place for the fragrance to sit. It is a fairly um, large box. The bottle is very similar to the original. The original one was sort of pitch black. This was done does have a little bit of a transparency. It's more of a smoked gray. You have a sticker on the bottom and then Ancre Noir Sport is written in red. You have a similar cap to the original wooden. I believe this one is a little bit lighter um, and it has Lalique um, on the top. I do actually, I'll show you the atomizer um, works really well. Um, you know, nothing to complain about. And uh, I'm just gonna get a spray um, on my arm so I sort of know what I'm talking about when I talk about this one. Uh, also, very, very heavy bottle here. Uh, Lalique does, um, does their bottles just exceptionally well. They're usually very heavy. Lalique is a crystal uh, company first and foremost. So um, it's, it's, it makes sense that they get the bottles right. Um, as far as this one goes, first things first, my thinking when I heard about this one was that they were going to have to get this one exactly right to make it not seem foolish. And they did do it just right. They actually really made this into a sports set. Um, actually, they didn't really make it into a sports set. They just heavily dialed down the dark nature of Ancre Noir and added some very nice citrus to the top. So to me, it's actually not... Um, a sport fragrance. It's not something I'd wear to the gym. I really actually don't like wearing anything to the gym except something like Florida water um, or 4711. But this is really more of a commercially uh, appealing version of the original, uh, almost like a daytime version of that scent. You know, I get off the top a blast of really nice grapefruit, bergamot, and a little bit of lavender. It's fresh and it's uplifting, but you're never too far away from that double dose of vetiver that lives in the base. It's there, it's always there, but that just 
juxtaposition between the citrus and the vetiver is to me very much reminiscent of the classic men's vetiver fragrances like Guerlain's and Givenchy's uh, vetiver. Although I have to say that for me, those scents have more of a soapy quality uh, and I don't really get any soapiness from Ancre Noir Sport. Now, as this one progresses, you do start to get a little bit of the spice, the nutmeg, maybe a bit of, uh, of cypress, um, and that lavender blooms a bit more. Eventually, it dries down to that very naked vetiver with a touch of woods and musk. But this is, um, not to me at least, very different from the vetiver. Um, actually, it is very different from the vetiver in the original Ancre Noir. Um, that's a very dark and earthy, rooty vetiver, and this one feels a little bit... Um, a little bit lighter through the scent, not just at the start. It's a little bit of a lighter, um, a lighter vetiver. So it's similar and it's not similar. As far as performance goes, it's very good. Um, it's not a projection beast, but it lasts well and comes off the skin fine for me. Uh, I would say this is a masculine fragrance. Um, very much so. Obviously, people can wear that they want, but it does have a masculine feel to it, at least in my opinion. And I think well, you can certainly wear this during any time of the year. It can really shine for you during the spring and summer months. Really, the spring, though, great scent for the office in the spring, casual occasions for the evening as well for a date. Very well-rounded fragrance that has multiple possibilities. If you're not able to get your hands on this or don't want to pay the, the buck ten, uh, that's the retail. You know, I would say Guerlain's Vetiver is pretty similar, and Paul Smith's story um, has the grapefruit um, and vetiver and bergamot, so that's, and nutmeg actually, so that's very similar um, as well, but that actually is harder to get uh, than this one. If someone were trying to talk you into getting this one, I think they'd say, look, it's Lalique quality at a great price, so it's hard to lose there. Um, this is a likable fragrance and it's gonna give you good performance, so it's sort of a nice value um, at, at that lower $40 tier. If someone were trying to talk you into not buying this one, I think they tell you that it's just not as unique as Ancre Noir. Part of that sense popularity was its uniqueness and they kind of killed the goose by making this flanker sort of more normal. I'm a fan. I just think the quality of the notes here are outstanding and this one is great with the suit and tie. I think if you only wanted to get one, either this and the original, I would definitely go with the original because there's not much out there similar. Um, maybe with the exception of Sycamore uh, by Chanel. And that one can be rather pricey. Is this one gonna change your life? Uh, absolutely not, but it's really solid. And I'm gonna give Ancre Noir Sport a seven out of 10. I can't give it points for originality. Um, and um, there are multiple better sport fragrances out there like Diorome Sport and Alorum Sport, but that doesn't mean this one sh shouldn't warrant a place in your collection. If you like the idea of, um, of the grapefruit with vetiver, then you're gonna like this one. One very much um, and as I said Paul, story by Paul Smith has the bergamot the grapefruit and the vetiver um, but that one can be expensive now because it's discontinued so this is a really nice affordable alternative to that fragrance so guys if you have any questions on Ancre Noir Sports by Lalique please feel free to hit me up I'll be back next week with more videos obviously my name is that our wrist is wrong gotta get it right mom we gonna get along said how don't trip but show the trip is wrong first visit one day job ticket Tron Nighttime, Mr. Mom, bootleg Chris.